Uh, I know that you were a flight instructor in New York at the time of 9-11, that you were sort of like uh, having flight simulations and stuff where when this thing happened in 9-11. In you were given the official flight route of the different planes. And did you test these flight route with other uh, pilots to see if they could be, if anyone could replicate exactly how these planes were doing these extreme maneuvers or claimed maneuvers? Yes, we did actually. We did that uh, in a, in a, in a seven six seven flight simulator. Even uh, we did the maneuvers in the twin towers, and uh, we tried the pentagon maneuver, which is beyond uh, imagination. That this was done by Honey Anjur, who couldn't fly Cessna, and th this maneuver was even not possible to 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 do by the the most experienced test pilot. But the maneuvers only also on the World Trade Centers. To hit the World Trade Centers with the speed, the speeds uh, which were uh, propagated with the official 9/11 uh, uh, report, is which were impossible. You had to adjust the simulator in advance, even to adjust it, because you cannot with these with all these data which they uh, which were in 9/11 report. It's impossible to start a simulator. It immediately says this is impossible. You cannot fly. So with high speeds to hit these towers uh, on that uh, level by inexperienced pilots is impossible. We couldn't do it uh, as very uh, experienced instructors. So uh, yeah, we did this uh, with these cases, not with Flight 93, but with the two uh, cases or the three cases, uh, we tried to simulate these. Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Sorry, sorry, Ole. Very no, interesting. So what I understand, because I was there in New York on the what had happened. I just arrived in the United States one day before it happens. Um, so what you're trying to say, the pilot that only had one year experience, Muhammad Tata, impossible to do that maneuver to hit the tower? Yes. Yes. No. All, so all the story that we receive is all fabricated then. As so, pilot did receive. Sorry? So all the story that it is the pilot take the course of six months and one year is all fabricated then. Yes, the official story, the official 9-11 report, the official story, the narrative is from a flight technical and flight operational viewpoint, impossible. And that's uh, Pilots for 9-11 Truth, which consisted of more than 5,000 really experienced pilots, military people, people from Boeing and Airbus uh, who did these uh, for analysis uh, of these cases of nine, what happened on 9-11, they looked from it from a flight technical and operational standpoint, and they all come to the conclusion that this is, from that standpoint, impossible. So uh, yeah, that is a, it's a ridiculous, uh, a ridiculous uh, narrative actually from from a uh, flight operational and technical uh, viewpoint as a pilot. I mean, all pilots who would really read what was on there would say this is impossible. Uh, what they now uh, propagating is what happened there. You are the first pilot to say that. I never heard about this. You oh my god! Suspicious about that. So yes. actually. Okay, so actually it's not a conspiracy theory because I do research about that. Because when it happened one day before that, uh, yeah, I feel the, the, the smell and everything, right? I was there. So this is my theory about that. In the time the government would like to impose the Patriot Act where they can control the people, but because they have a lot of uh, rejection from the parliament, from the people, so they create a problem. So you remember, after the 9-11, everything what the government say, people say yes. That's why I come back to that. So they create problem and they say, I solve it. So yeah. it's not a conspiracy then. Especially when you say that the, it's impossible a pilot with one hour training can do that. So the, the, the hypothesis that it is... Uh, it is it's a military operation, right? With the life, cost of life, so many. So you don't have yes, to. Yes, you think so? Yes. Well, after that, the, the, the people in the United States were controlled. Yeah, and uh, but the, the 
that's another thing because commercial aviation is part of the military. It's actually all military. All technology in commercial aviation comes from the military. Uh, if you see to the, the company structures of Boeing uh, and uh, Airbus, for instance, these are military uh, corporations. All the technology is so like geoengineering, for instance, they can they can apply it on commercial aviation because it's part of the military, actually. Uh, if it's a very small part of the military industrial complex is the commercial aviation that they call it mm. commercial but actually uh, it's part of the military industrial complex so they can use it for military purposes as well but we're not aware of it we use all this stuff same as the mobile phones which is all uh, military technology used to uh, for harmful uh, purposes and surveys whatever more uh, we use it for our convenience but it's actually all military technology and then uh, people say, oh, it's just a coincidence, or they use it for uh, these uh, purposes, or this is just a result of it. But a very good source to, if it's still there, is Pilots for 9-11 Truth. And they have uh, a brilliant uh, analyze uh, from the four different cases on 9-11 with computer models, videos, uh, documents. And they come, came up with their analyze and had uh, 50 questions or more questions for the different uh, agencies about what happened there, because this doesn't, it's not possible, but never was being answered, of course, it's being ignored even. But uh, it's a really good source to look into if you want to look uh, what's happened on 9-11, it's pilots for 9-11 too, because they don't go into question who did it, why did they do it? Yeah. They only look at it from a flight technical and a flight operational perspective. And they come to the conclusion, this is from that uh, perspective, impossible. It's not cannot be done. Cannot. Uh, it's just uh, you know you have a flight envelope within a, where a fl where an airplane can uh, can can um, uh, maneuver in. But if you're outside of the flight envelope, which is just a statistic, it breaks apart. And these planes were flying way out of their flight envelope, and that's just ridiculous because it disintegrates at certain speeds, certain you know uh, certain uh, center of gravity, certain attitudes, altitudes. The plane doesn't uh, fly anymore and uh, supposedly they were flying with these kind of uh, uh, conditions and doing these maneuvers by completely inexperienced pilots which is just a ridiculous uh, notion uh, but it's a really well source i don't know if it's still there with the website and everything but you can look look it up as a good source for it so friends everyone here did you hear that that the 9 11 what happened 9 11 it's an impossible run by a pilot that only have one year experience. He said that they have to have a more experience uh, with that. Um, well, then, then, no. then also they couldn't do it. Even by very experienced pilots couldn't do these maneuvers. No one has ever managed, as far as I know, no one has ever managed. So, so who ran the pilot then? Who, who, who was the no, pilot? That's, no, that, that, that's a whole other uh, uh, area, but it's just the maneuver which was <clears throat> propagated by the 9-11 uh, Commission uh, investigation report the official one uh, especially in the pentagon is just uh insane it's impossible it was also false also with uh, wrong information but uh, this was being propagated as the maneuver but uh exp really experienced pilots uh, who tried to do this uh, or test pilots military pilots tried to do this maneuver came to the conclusion that this is impossible, and especially by a guy who was not uh, even uh, capable of landing a Cessna, and, uh, a Piper, uh, Piper Cessna. So, but, but just yeah. as a little extra detail when it comes to the planes, because 9-11 is so multi-layered, a massive, massive operation. And the official story is there's not a single word that is true anywhere in this whole thing but for instance all of these phone calls that was made from the planes is that correct Willem that at that point the uh, the planes did not have the capacity to to with these phone calls yes that was another uh, thing as well with these phone calls may being made uh, for a long yeah. time and, uh, that is impossible technically impossible back then that especially you lose uh, you lose reception after 1,000, 2,000 feet, and they were supposed to, they were flying higher than the speed of sound at 30,000 feet uh, and had a really good contact. Uh, these are all issues. That's another good documentary. Yeah? That's uh, this guy who made this documentary. Uh, 
Italian guy, I'd have forgot to know. Oh, but so it's uh, also fabricated, the phone call, right? So everything is fabricated. Everything well, in, the, in the official story. So the commission who investigated have no answer until now. And he say that it's impossible. Have a maneuver like that. Kun, ada tanggapan, Kun. Menarik banget nih, Kun. Well, they did, you know, the official 9-11 uh, report is ridiculous. It's a, mm -hmm. it's a mockery. Uh, it costed like uh, 5 million, where this investigation on Monica Lewinsky costed 150 million. Uh, the, 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 and if you see the report, it's just very thin, basic, full with contradictions and completely technical, flight technical impossibilities. Uh, you have also the 9-11 uh, the uh, Toronto hearings four-day Toronto hearings. It's very interesting to uh, look up. Uh, you can uh, watch that. Uh, I don't know, maybe it's, it's, I don't think it's on YouTube, but the Toronto 9-11 hearings, four days by scientists, uh, all kinds from different areas. They talk about what uh, happened on 9-11. And that's just from a scientific viewpoint, impossible what happened over there. That's, that's another angle. So that's not by pilots uh, or people from aviation, but from a scientific uh, few points, uh, four day 9-11 uh, Toronto hearings, very interesting to watch. It's also completely uh, self-evident that uh, the official narrative is absolutely uh, absurd. You got the NIST report also with, uh, I don't know, thousands of architects and builders and construction people. All of them say yeah. there's not a single word that is true. Then one group that I'm involved in with the lawyers for 9-11, uh, they are also saying, I mean, all of it, it, it is lies upon lies upon lies upon lies. All of that operation to start, for one thing, get the Homeland Security in place, the Patriot Act, but also to start the war on terror with seven, uh, all of these wars that have followed on 9-11. Oh, yeah, the that's true. Oh, it's a massive, massive. It was the oh, biggest gold heist. They put and so on, yeah. There are oh, these it's, but it's money. It's all about money, you know. The what the power? official story once again. I mean, you can you can't even tell it to small kids and uh, make this a good is, story out of it. This is important, uh, Willem, because the majority of Indonesian people are Muslim, right? And since 9-11 is created like that, uh, many of the Muslim people here uh, feel uh, not offended, but feel like uh, cornered uh, with that. Yeah. Islam is bad, it's like that, right? Couldn't you remember or not? Yeah. Since that, there is a stigma about Muslim. So this is the class of civilization started in 2001, like the Samuel Huntington say. So actually, this is by design, then we can say that, because after that, they create ISIS, they create Al-Qaeda, it's all American who do like that, right? Uh, so you're old enough, uh, Willem, you know this, and you can analyze that. What wisdom you get from this about the world? The burning world, I can say, the burning world. Well, that, that is not real, and that is not uh, what we are being presented with of what is the reality, that it's totally not in line with what reality really is. And uh, yeah, uh, that, that's for sure. But uh, most people like to be uh, in this convenient state and uh, just go along with what Big Daddy, the state, is telling them to accept as a reality and who's the bad guy and who's the good guy. And if that uh, is guaranteed them their so-called convenience uh, bubble uh, state, then uh, they will go along with it. It's uh, very easy, of course. But uh, yeah, for sure, it's not, uh, it's not uh, what we think it is, uh, for sure.